Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your squeeze page also known as a capture page or a lead generation page. The first thing you want to do is insert a table. So you go to the insert menu of your HTML editor and I'm going to be using InView for this uh, presentation. Go to the insert menu, select table and I usually do a three cell table. I'm going to show you why. Uh, you want to double click on the edges of the table to edit it and it's going to default into the cells tab which is what allows you to format each individual cell. So since it's defaulted there I'm going to go ahead and start uh, right here and you can tell which cell you're formatting because it will be outlined with a gray lining around it. Okay, so I'm going to format this and what I usually do is make the far left cell a particular color that I'd like and I usually use blue and then click OK and then click apply and then I click the next button and I click it again to get to the far right cell and I make that cell blue as well. Okay. So you can kind of see what I'm where I'm going with this. I'm using these in cells as sort of a margin um, to make it a decor decorative color. Uh, most people usually use a background color instead of doing it this way, but uh, I find that this is easier for me to work with and I like the way it looks a little better. So if you don't want to do it that way, you can simply do a one cell table and then pick a background color and keep in mind you don't necessarily have to have a background color but most people tend to to like that and appreciate it <clears throat> okay so uh, now that you have your margin set uh, you want to click on the table tab and I usually make the border zero to get rid of that uh, sort of border around the edges of it and when I click apply you'll see what I mean it's going to disappear if you watch the edges of it you see that you now have this red outline which is basically an invisible table the red outline won't show up on your site when you upload it okay and then I also um, I, I sometimes use percentages but um, you know I found that a lot of people prefer pixels because with pixels it's a fixed amount whereas with percentages it's basically the table shapes itself to conform to the screen of the person who's viewing it and everybody has different size screens so that's why people prefer to use pixels so that the way they design the table looks exactly the same all across the board and this is something new that I myself learned because I, I prefer to work with percentages being that I'm more familiar with percentages uh, but when I learned why people tend to use pixels it, it sort of changed things for me so we're going to format this middle table here so we're going to go to the cells again and I'm going to format this middle table so I'm going to click the next button until it goes to that center cell right there and I'm going to make this about uh, 500 pixels click apply and you can see the table expands so this is going to be the area of my content right here and then you have the margins over here which I'm not going to do anything with and I don't need to set a size because by default it's going to just split evenly both of the margins and so that really doesn't concern me uh, but with the with the center cell you can use whatever size you like uh, just whatever looks good to you but just as a standard of what I do my squeeze pages in I usually start with pixels of 500 so click apply and then OK and we're now ready to begin writing the content into our squeeze page so if I enter, you can see the table expand downward, and you can start to see it come alive a little bit. I place my cursor back up at the top, and I'm going to center my cursor, and this is where I'm going to write a headline. And then you want to do a subheadline. And then 
for your bullet points you want to uh, align it to the left and then just go ahead and click the bullet point on the uh, toolbar up here and then just put in your bullet points which should be also benefits and also can be features Okay, and then you center it. And now we're going to do some formatting here. Your headline should usually be um, the biggest font on the page. Okay, the subheadline should be smaller than the headline, and then the bullet points should be smaller than the subheadline. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make my font Arial font uh, just because I prefer the the Arial font better I think it's easier on the eyes so I'm going to make that Arial okay headline I'm going to make red and this is standard most people usually do a red headline subheadline I'm going to leave black um, you can also use highlighting if you'd like but black is fine if you don't want to um, the headline you can also bold if you'd like I'm gonna leave it unbolded though but you can bold it and then the benefits of you can just leave the same so now that you have your squeeze page basically uh, typed out <coughs> you can now insert your autoresponder opt-in form and you would get that uh, you would get your code for your autoresponder opt-in form from your autoresponder service provider and they should have tutorials and things that show you how to generate a form and then they will provide you with the code and then you just place the code in your web page the way that I'm going to show you how to do right now you basically just place the cursor where you want the form to appear and actually here's what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to create a table to put the code inside of I'm going to show you why I'm going to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and insert a table. And I'm going to format that by getting rid of the border. And also centering the table. And I'm going to make uh, this a let's see, pixel of, let's say, Let's just say 100 or maybe 200. Okay. So there's the table here, and you're going to see why I'm doing it this way in a second. And then you're going to place the cursor inside that table. Now, once you've got that centered, you want to go to the insert menu. You want to select HTML, and then you want to paste the code you got from your autoresponder into that pop up window and then click insert and as you can see nothing shows up however the form is in your page okay so once you've got this uploaded you're gonna actually see your web form in, in your your opt-in form in the page but you can't see it while you're editing it in in view okay so that's why I put this table here so that I have sort of a placeholder that shows me where my opt-in form is so that when I go in and do some editing you know when you want to you want to optimize your page some more possibly you don't accidentally erase your opt-in form okay and as you can see I'm doing some editing right now whereas if I didn't have that form there I wouldn't know whether or not I was erasing my opt-in form okay so once you've got this all done you're, you're basically done now you're ready to upload your squeeze page and the last thing you want to do is just go to the file menu and then save it and that concludes this tutorial on how to design your squeeze page.